This time, let's make an air cannon. How do you think it works? Get your hands warmed up and your lab coat on. To start with, we will need a cup. Whoa, that's odd. Okay, I'll use this cup then. What? Hey! This is just getting silly now. Uh, let's put that back. Okay, let's put you over here. Ah, no you don't. Right, okay, for the rest of the make, you'll need a glue gun, a marker, tape, paper, craft sticks, a hole punch and balloons, scissors and a craft knife. Grab your cup and cut a hole in the bottom of it. You might need some help with this as it can be a bit tricky. Before you cut your hole, be careful about how big you make it. For this make, the hole size is important. It will affect the blast of air, called the vortex, that comes out of the air cannon. A small hole will produce a narrow vortex. The vortex will be more powerful and able to travel a greater distance, also called its range. A bigger hole will create a less powerful vortex with a smaller range. But the vortex produced will be wider, so it can hit more stuff. I recommend a hole about this size, but experiment with different sizes and mix them up for different tasks. Next, grab a balloon and blow it up a little to stretch it out. Then tie a knot in it and using your scissors, cut off the top. Grab your cup and flip it upside down and then stretch your balloon over the hole. Now, with your tape, Secure the balloon in place. Great stuff! To use the air cannon, you pull the end of the balloon back like this and aim the other end at what you want to hit and then let go. <laughs> Oops, sorry pooch. Let's try it out on some different materials. Right, feathers. Do you think the air cannon will blow these away? Let's find out. Amazing! The air cannon completely blasted them. How about some marbles? Nope, the marbles are too heavy for the air vortex to move them. Right, how about some pom-poms? Look at them go! You could have lots of fun using your air cannon to move or blast all sorts of things. I'm going to show you how to make a target to aim for. Let's start off with three long craft sticks. Stick them together like this. Use a ruler or the lines on your cutting mat to get them nice and straight. Now, add on some triangular supports and stick two craft sticks underneath to help it stand up. And finally, another stick poking out of the back like this. Next, grab some paper and cut out a square that fits your target stand. Using a marker, draw a target design onto the paper. Now, at the top, either cut or hole punch a hole. You might need to cut multiple joined up holes. Great! Your target should now slot on to your frame. Let's test it out. Point the cannon at the target and pull back on the balloon. This sucks extra air into the cannon. Then when you release the balloon, all of the extra air is pushed out of the cannon at great speed, creating a vortex that travels forward and hits the target, pushing it right off the frame. Let's place some targets around and get ready for some fun! Right, this is a long shot. Ah, whoops, sorry robot, I missed! Let's try that again. Yes! Woo! Oops! Yeah! Bullseye! Oh! Sorry, eyeball buddies! No! 